Hi kids. Today I am going to do some problems. NCERT syllabus standard 5 chapter 4. Its name comes like this. Parts and holes. Myself Femi be joined. See parts and holes means the chapter's name is fraction. Fraction is the name of this chapter. Question comes like this. Manju had a chocolate of 12 pieces. She is having a chocolate. It has 12 pieces. I have brought 12 pieces for you. She gave one fourth of it to Reggie, one third to Sujada, and one sixth to Sheila. Manju ate the remaining part. So, chocolate is over. How many pieces of chocolate did each get? That we are going to find out first. See, she gave one fourth of it. To Reggie. So I can write down as a first step to Reggie. How much? One fourth of one fourth of it. It means one fourth of twelve pieces. This it and twelve pieces are connected. One fourth of it to Reggie means one fourth of twelve pieces. One fourth of twelve. This we can find out from this chocolate. See, one fourth means we should make four groups of this chocolate. See, I made four groups. Again, some more chocolates are remaining. So, again, I am distributing the chocolates each one to each group. So my chocolate is over. We can check how many chocolates are there in each group. See, we can say that each group has two, uh, three chocolates. So our problem comes like this. One by fourth means we should make four groups of chocolate. That is understood. From this, the numerator should be selected as a group. See, 1 is 1 we should select. Means first group we should select. Any group, 1 group we should select. So, I selected this group and keeping all the other chocolates outside. See, 1 by 4th of 12. This is the answer. So, we can just write, uh, count it and say the answer as 1, 2, 3 chocolates. So, Reggie got 3 chocolates. Then again, one fourth of it to Reggie, one third to Sujada. So our next step comes like this to Sujada. To Sujada, one by third of one by third to Sujada. Uh, that means one by third of twelve pieces. One by third of twelve. So, we should find out 1 by 3rd of 12. So, again, 12 pieces of chocolate is with me. How many groups should we make? 3 groups. So, I am going to make 3 groups. Again, distributing the e, uh, chocolates to each and every group. And again, I am checking how many chocolates are there in each group. And how many groups should I select to... Get the answer. Seeing the numerator, we can select how many groups should I select. See, numerator is 1. So, I should select 1 group. So, this group is straightly going to the answer side. See, I can count and say how many chocolates Sujada got. 1, 2, 3, 4 chocolates. So, this answer is also over. Then again, 1 by 6th to Sheila. So, next step comes like this to Sheila. 1 by 6th of 1 by 6th of again 12 pieces equal to again we have to make seeing the denominator we should make how many groups? 6 groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, Distributing the remaining chocolates. 
very easily i can say each group contains you kids you can say how many chocolates two chocolate my kid is standing near to me and he is saying the answer as two so how many group should i select from the six groups seeing the numerator i can say one group i should select so this group is going to the answer side and counting and say two chocolate sheila got then again manju ate the remaining chocolate so our problem comes like this see reji got three pieces sujada got four pieces isn't it sujada got four pieces and again sheila got two pieces Again, three pieces are remaining with me. So, remaining pieces Manju eight. So, Manju eight. Number of pieces Manju eight is three. So, for Manju, how did I get this answer? Seeing the chocolate very easily, you can say. But writing down the step, I can write it like this: twelve minus of. She Reggie's chocolate, Sujada's chocolate, and Sheila's chocolate. Reggie's chocolate is three plus four plus then last one is Sheila's. Twelve minus. So we got the answer as twelve minus of nine, isn't it? So three is our answer. Then. One more part is remaining. What part of chocolate did Manju eat? Now we got the number of chocolate Manju ate. Now next part of chocolate. Part of chocolate. Manju ate. Equal to. In the previous class, I was uh, saying about total should be down. Total should be writing write down and score should be in the top. Instead of this total, I am replacing that word into whole. That means instead of total, I can write down whole should be down and score. Instead of score, I can say that. Part should be in the top. That means whole means whole number of chocolate, twelve pieces. Twelve was the whole number of chocolate. And part means how many chocolate? Manju ate. Manju ate three chocolate. So part means three. I can rewrite this as one by four. So the fraction of chocolate, the part of chocolate Manju ate is one by four. But this is the this is not the easy way. We should write for the exam in an another way. That I will show you. See, one by four of twelve, isn't it? This I can write down. One by four of twelve equal to instead of this of. One by four. Instead of this of, I should put into. One by four of twelve equal to one into twelve divided by four equal to three. So this is the way you should do for the exam. But in this way, you should understand the concept. These two also we can do in the same way. One by third of twelve means. Equal to instead of of, I should write one by three into twelve. Equal to one into twelve divided by three. Equal to four. The same answer we are getting in both sides. Here one by six of twelve. Equal to one by six into twelve. Equal to one into twelve divided by six. Equal to two. You should write all these steps; otherwise, you will make mistake.
this is the easiest way to for you to do this okay i think you understood this problem in this problem they have given 15 hats color 1 by third of hats as red 3 by fifth of hats as blue and how many hats are red and how many hats are blue that we have to find out first so i can number it here 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 hats are there in total. First we should find out 1 by 3rd of this 15 hats. So first step is 1 by 3rd of 15. I can rewrite it like this. 1 by 3rd into instead of of i can write 1 by third of 15 is 1 by 3 into 15 1 into 15 divided by 3 that means 15 divided by 3 equal to 5 so what is 5 number of Number of red hat equal to 5, isn't it? The next one, 3 by 5th of hats are blue. So, first we have to find out 3 by 5th of hats equal to 3 by 5th of hats means 3 by 5th of 15. Here also you can include one more step like this. 1 by 3rd of hats. And next step 1 by 3rd of 15. 3 by 5th of 15 equal to 3 by 5 into 15 equal to 3 into 15 divided by 5 equal to 9. Here you can cut and write it as 3. 3 into 3 9. So Red, uh, blue hats is number of which color? Blue color equal to 9. So, here we can give the color like this. Number of red hats 5. So, I can color here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hats as red. And number of blue color hats, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Next we have to find out what part of hats are not colored. Here we can say that one hat is not colored. So our next step is number of hats. Hat not colored. Equal to 1. From the picture itself we can say that that is 1. Then next, next question. What part? Part of hat. Hat not colored. Colored equal to, again from the previous, hole should be down and part should be in the top. Hole means 15. 15 should be down and part means number of hat that is not colored, that is 1. So, 1 by 15 is the part of hat that is not colored. Next question comes like this. The white triangle is divided into equal parts. See, here is our white triangle. This is divided into three equal parts. In your textbook, it is given it like this. They have divided the triangle like this. See, we have to show that these parts are equal. These divided parts are equal. For you, see, they have divided the triangle like this. 
I cut this triangle for you and keeping one over the other, we can say that these three triangles are equal. And you have a work, fill one by third with different color. This portion is one by three. This is also one by three. This is also one by three. So you guys, you can give different colors for this triangle. Our next aim is, now try to make three equal parts of this triangle in different way. So I have given one more triangle, the same triangle and I have divided this triangle into equal parts like this. So you can color each triangle. This is 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. Each triangle with different color and our conclusion of these three triangle, these three exercises are coming like this. I am saying a definition for fraction. From this exercises we can say that fraction means a whole a whole is divided into equal parts. See Fraction means a whole is divided into equal parts. See, this is the whole triangle. In the previous example, the whole hats, that means 15 hats itself were the whole. And before that, uh, we, have, we were saying about the chocolates, there 12 chocolates were whole. Whole is divided into equal parts. We were dividing the tri uh, chocolates, hats and this triangle also into equal parts. So our definition comes like this. Fraction means the whole is divided into equal parts. I think this uh, concept is clear to you. So signing off Femi Bijoy. Thank you.